Question number 14 says, Tavia has been adding advertisements to her website. Initially, her revenue increased with each additional ad. So she kept track of this, and as she added some ads, so at 10 ads, she increased her revenue $100, but at 15 ads, it was only $75. So we ended up losing some money as we added more ads. Okay, so this is a law of diminishing returns. So this says, part A says, determine the quadratic inequality that models Tavia's revenue. So what we want to do is use those three coordinates to find out the, the parabola that we're dealing with. So I've graphed it here. This is what it looks like. To work it out algebraically, we need to either choose a vertex form, the factored form, or the y-intercept form, or the gen which is the general form. In this case, I'm going to choose the y-intercept form or the general form because I have that point there. And the y-intercept is zero, so it makes it a little bit easier to work with. So I, know, I don't know the a value. I don't know the b value, but I know that the y-intercept is zero. So now I need to just come up with two equations to solve for a and b. So I'm going to use that point to come up with my first equation. So y equals 100, a times 10 squared plus b times 10. Simplifying that, I get 100 equals 100, a plus 10, b. So there's my first equation. I need to come up with a second equation, and I have another coordinate to come up with a second equation. So my second equation is going to be based on 1575. So my revenue is 75 when I have 15 ads. So it's going to be 15 squared plus b times 15. And then simplifying this out, I get 225A plus 15B. Okay, it looks like maybe I could get rid of the 15B. I'm just going to multiply the left-hand equation by 1.5 to match the coefficient of b, and then I'm going to subtract them. So I end up with 100, or sorry, 1.5 times 100 is 150, 150a plus 15b. So when I do that, I get that expression there. I match my b terms. I'm going to subtract these two equations from each other. So I get negative 75 is equal to 75a. The 15b's cancel out. So I end up with a is equal to negative 1. This is a system, so I do still need to solve for b. And I can plug into either one of these equations to solve for b. I'm going to plug it into equation 1. So I end up with 100 is equal to 100 times negative a, sorry, negative 1. Plus 10b. So this is negative. I'm going to add 100 to both sides. So I get 200 equals 10b. b is equal to 20. So now I've solved my quadratic equation. My quadratic equation is going to look like this. The equation that goes through those points is y equals negative x squared plus 20x plus 0. Okay, so I've drawn that here. This is the that curve that goes through those three points is going to be that curve there. So that's the first part. That's or the inequality that that models her revenue is going to be her revenue is going to be below that graph. So the graph the the y value of this revenue is going to be below 
sorry, the R values are going to be below that equation. And X represents the number of ads. Okay, so uh, part B then says how many ads can Tavia include in her website to earn revenue of at least $50? Okay, so for part B, we need to make the revenue $50 and we need to make at least that much so we want our revenue to be above that. So we want our revenues to be above that $50. Okay, so we then need to solve this inequality. We end up with negative x squared plus 20x minus 50. Okay, we can multiply both sides by negative. I'm just going to flip that around so I don't have to deal with that negative sign. Okay, so then I need to solve this quadratic. I'm going to plug in our values to find my x, okay, the boundaries, and I know I want the revenues to be above $50, so there's my $50, and I want my revenues to be above. So I know it's going to have find these zeros, and I want to find the x coordinates in between. So solving for those zeros is where the cross is there. It's going to be 20 plus minus square root 20 squared minus 4 times A times C. And that's all over 2. Simplifying this out, we end up with 20 plus minus 400 minus 200 is 200. That's all over 2. We can factor out the perfect square. And this simplifies to 10 plus minus 5 root 2. Okay, and that's approximately 3 and 17. So that at about 3 here, 3 adds and 17 ads here, we know that we're going to have revenues above $50. So the solution is going to be between 17 and 3 ads. Okay, that represents the number of ads we need to have revenues above $50.